Hi, I'm Tracy. I came uh, to see Dr. Jotty because I was referred actually by a client of his. I was at a state of being so lost I couldn't tell you. I um, am an extreme athlete, but I really started suffering about a year ago. Um, my I went to get blood tests. They told me that the, my thyroid was low. They put me on thyroid medicine. I started um, to be able to do my rides or my races and I would be so fatigued. Um, I was not feeling any better. I started getting insomnia, terrible insomnia, where I would be up probably 90% of the night. I'd go some nights sleeping 45 minutes, some nights sleeping an hour and a half. Um, it really started to affect my nervous system. I would, um, I'm a jewelry designer, I own a jewelry store. I would not be able to function in uh, my designs of my jewelry. I would get really upset very, very fast. Um, just normal things. I'm a person that's always been very even keeled, didn't really get upset by things. I would, I felt like I was falling apart. Um, I went back to the doctor, took more tests again. They found that I had adrenal fatigue. At that point, they told me I'm about 25% above adrenal failure. Um, I was told to stop riding my bike, stop all physical activity. I did that. I, I went right on the doctor's words for about three months, but it was continually getting worse. I would um, be fatigued in the morning. I would not be able to, to sleep. I would start to shake. I had terrible cramps. Uh, things just started cascading. I cannot tell you a piece of my life that did not feel like it was falling apart. So I have a friend from cycling who referred Dr. Jotty and I had taken about 15 blood tests in the matter of four months, all saying, okay, this is wrong, this is falling apart, this is falling apart, more medicines, more medicines, but nothing seemed to be helping. So I called Dr. Jotty and I was amazed. I got in in a couple of days. I remember coming in my first day and I couldn't even stop crying. Every word that Dr. Jotty asked me, tears would come out of my, sorry, tears came out of my face. I felt so lost. And um, he said, we're going to start right away. And um, I've only been here three and a half days now. After the first day, I've been coming two times a day. And after the first day, I went to bed and I, I slept about five hours. And I thought, well, that was amazing. And I was up about four and thinking, which isn't good when you're not feeling so well, but I was thinking, okay, I had a little bit of hope. At the second day, um, Dr. Jotty was talking to me and we were doing something and I felt, I trust this man. I am not a person to trust very many people. I'm a very guarded human being, but I trusted him and I felt such relief that my care was in someone else's hands and I just had to follow. I had to do a little bit of homework. I had to do a little bit little bit of things on my own which I'm happy to do because it makes me feel slightly empowered on this and after three and a half days I can tell you I have for two nights three nights now I have slept probably 90% of the night I'm waking up and I'm up for two minutes and I'm falling back to sleep I I have horrible night sweats for a year now that are just like my body's on fire they are I've had maybe two a night where I was having 15 a night I feel more balanced I feel definitely more hopeful and um, I came in here with a limp where I wasn't even walk I could not even walk without every person I know saying why are you limping and I did not even know I was I just had immense pain in my right hip and I can say now for two and a half days, I have had zero pain, zero pain in that hip. I have probably 95% improvement on my gait itself. And I feel like it's changing my posture. It's changing my attitude for sure. I, I feel happier and hopeful. And I have a couple more weeks of doing this and I cannot tell you how excited I am to come every single day and see what possible better part is going to have and I'm hoping to start riding my bike again and exercising again but I'm hopeful now that I'm going to where a week ago I had zero hope that I was going to. So the blood tests that I was given which I told were many I, I, were for a piece at a time um, your adrenals are going your your 
three months later test it. Your adrenals are shutting down. Right before I came here, I was told a week before I came here that my adrenal system was shut down. And um, but they never tested, or my thyroid was, and they were bumping up my thyroid medicine. I never, ever in any of my tests got tested for the antibody for a thyroid. But uh, Dr. Jotty, his first thing he said is, I cannot help you until I know what's going on. And he gave me a, a very thorough test in the office. It was the longest test I've ever had from a doctor. Um, he gave so much of his time. But he said, you will go and get blood tests and you need to get an MRI. And I had to do some other tests because he doesn't know the picture until he sees the whole thing. He's not going to guess at this. Well, his test came back when I sat with him that I had Hashimoto's. And I did have the antibody, thyroid antibody, which is an autoimmune uh, problem that we are going to have to face, and it, it's going to add some difficulty. But I was never told that. I was never tested for it, never told it. It's every test they ever did made me feel like they were testing a piece of me, and they were treating a piece of me, and I had medication for a piece of me. But I kept saying there's so many other things that are going wrong, and I did not believe it would all be solved by one little piece, and it proved not to be because, honestly, the more I got tested, the more I got treated, the worse I felt. So uh, knowing this and being being able to face what I have and. He is, he's talking to me about what I'm eating, how I'm eating. And the most peculiar part is I'm, my day is flipped upside down. My dinner is my breakfast meal. My uh, smoothie is my dinner meal. But for me right now, it is helping me in every regard. And I believe that nutritionally he's involved. Dr. Jotty does not just deal with what he's got you here in this office and, you know, move this, do your, work this part of your brain. We're going to do this. He... It, tells you what he would like you to do at home, he tells you what he would like you to eat, especially in situations because of Hashimoto's. He's taken away foods that I have eaten every single day for a year because I eat a lot of vegetables, but there's certain vegetables that feed it. So not knowing that and thought I was being healthy, he is taking it, that away. And so I am sure that's part of why I'm feeling better. But without his knowledge of that, I would have just kept on munching on all those things that ended up being part of what is feeding an autoimmune disease that I'm trying to quiet down. I have always been a very holistic, very good eater, don't eat any sugars. I've been extremely good, but I had my little bag of these were going to make me feel good supplements. And I almost was crushed that Dr. Jotty went through every single one of them and said, put a big X across it. And he made a point of making a big X across the entire bottle and said, uh, sorry, but uh, you're throwing these away. And I did. And it was very difficult to do that, but I fully believe that what is, what is helping me are the brain base. There are certain exercises, and for being somebody as athletic as I have been my entire life, there are certain simple exercises that he has me doing that dumbfounds me that I cannot do it. And, and I, my second day was almost in tears that I couldn't do a simple little exercise. He said, it's your brain, not your body. And so a day later, I can do it. And it is because of what he did brain-based from the time I couldn't do it for an hour until the next day he opened up that brain part of me and I was able to do it. So. I firmly believe there's things he's doing that I have zero control of doing myself or wouldn't even know it needs to be done. And I am so thankful for his experience, his knowledge, his compassion. As I said, I'm an extremely guarded person and he is compassionate in everything he says. He just feels like he goes right into me and I believe I can trust him and that is gigantic for me. And I believe that's why this is going to work, is he is so compassionate with every single person he talks to. Um, I would tell people that they have got, they have got to try it. It is different, it is, he does not deal, and it is not dealing with a subject. There were 20 things at least going wrong with me, and I started to think I was going crazy, that I was just you know, going from a person who was never sick, didn't 
get sick, always work through their problems, always athletic, to I felt like my life was falling apart. And I went the normal route. I went to a doctor's, I went to another doctor, I got tests, I got blood tests, I got work on this, I got all sorts of tests. And I am an anti-doctor person, I truly am, but I did it because I knew I did not feel good. And this is working with m me as a body, as a mind, as a organ that was created to work together and was not working together. And I would recommend to anybody, anybody that is having difficulty and is feeling like they are spiraling out of control and is feel like life could be better because that is what we want. I wanted my quality of life back. And if you want your quality of life back, you should 100% believe and try and come in and see Dr. Jotty. Mm -hmm.